Hello YouTube, I want to bring your attention to one of the most really mysterious areas on the face of this planet. My investigation uh, of that Curl Island began back in 2016 more or less, but other islands in that chain I have investigated for deca yeah, decades to the extent possible, of course. Um, UFO and UFO sightings and encounters, and by USO I mean unidentified submersible objects. And in, in the book that I wrote together with Phil Mantle, Russia's USO Secrets, you can see a lot of examples, but I never stop my investigations. Please see the playlist I have included in the description uh, of this video. Uh, it's, it's not surprising that Western media pays no attention to this island uh, because I find the real absence of depth of perception among its loudest members. And to be honest, not really that much intelligence in the minds of opinion shapers, but it's not only the Western media, of course. Let's leave it alone, but you know, it's not as exciting to them as, say, incessant doom and gloom and fashionable climate change subjects. But actually, whatever is contained in the bowels of that island that is now completely controlled by Russian military may be earth-shattering in its implications. Let me add today more information about the island and showcase some recent developments there. Please compare this information to my earlier videos. So, in August 1945, US President Harry Truman asked Soviet leader Joseph Stalin to provide one of the Coral Islands for the construction of a permanent air base. According to historians, it was about the island of Matua, which was literally stuffed with the secret military infrastructure of the Japanese Empire. Compared to other islands of the Coral Ridge, Matua is small. Its length is about 11 kilometers and its width is 6.5 kilometers. Matua Island, a small piece of land in the middle part of the Great Coral Ridge. It is very difficult to get from it to Sakhalin and Kamchatka. The harsh cold climate with a lot of precipitation made this island uninhabited. There is also no fresh water except for thin streams of meltwater coming down from the tops of the hills. Mice and foxes are the whole animal world comprising uh, fauna on that island. Um, even fish do not come to spawn in these places. In the central part of the island there is an active volcano, Sarichev, with a height of 1485 meters. Back in the 18th century the island was visited by Russian Cossacks, but since 1875, under the terms of the St. Petersburg Treaty, Matua, like the rest of the northern curls, had departed to the land of the rising sun. Until the beginning of the 20th century, indigenous people, Ainu converts to Orthodoxy, Russian Orthodox religion, Christian, lived on the island. From their language, the name Matua presumably translates as Hell's Mouth. Later, the Japanese authorities resettled the indigenous people to the south and the island was temporarily depopulated. Matua's new life, so to say, began in 1930s when the Japanese set up a military base on the island. It had a special status. The command was subordinate not to the general of the northern group, Tsami Fusaki, but directly to the headquarters in Hokkaido. For the construction of military fortifications, many Chinese prisoners of war were landed on Matua. They dug ditches, set up bunkers and pillboxes, paved roads, pulled a narrow gauge railway. Huge supplies of food, fuel and equipment were brought to Matua. A year and one an year round operating airfield was set up here as well. Practical Japanese came up with the idea of heating asphalt concrete runways with volcanic thermal waters. The scale of Japanese management on the island became became clear only after the 
complex military scientific expeditions uh, starting in, I would say, in 2017, the Japanese military drew attention to Matoa. Well, they decided to turn it into a fortress. Active construction work went on around the clock for about three years. The northern part of the island is occupied by a volcano, as I, have, as I said, Saritia volcano, and um, it, you know, it defended itself with the most difficult terrain. You don't, you don't need anything else. Now, on the island, everything else was literally turned inside out by the Japanese engineering services, military, of course, well supplied by the empire. Before the arrival um, uh, of the Russian military forces and their scientists, I would say really in 2017, there were civilian researchers who visited the island since the 2000s. They alerted the Russian Geographical Society to its mysteries. In most cases, the leader of the trips to the Coral Islands was Yevgeny Verishaga. At that time, a businessman and a scientific supervisor was also Irina Viter. What attracted the attention of researchers to the small island of Matua? Why was Mr. Verishaga drawn to this island like a magnet? I will assume that in the course of his service, the former KGB FSB, now Lieutenant Colonel Yevgeny Verishaga, and also he was the former representative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation in Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky. I guess he learned something inaccessible to ordinary mortal researchers. For example, the uh, account, the hypothesis, is still alive, so to say, that there is a whole city underground on the island of Matua. To find the underground city and penetrate into it was the main goal of the new Kamchatka Kuril expedition, which started from Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky to Matua Island in 2016. As the head of the expedition, Evgeny Verishaga, told the Russian Regnum News Agency correspondent, it is assumed that this city was built by captured Koreans and Chinese during the Second World War. We found underground utilities, 100, 200, 300 meters of corridors carved from basalt, decorated with wood. Inside there are many different rooms, stoves for cooking and heating. This is a so-called underground urban object, um, according to Evgeny Verishaga. Well, the idea is, or the hypothesis, that the uh, Mikado's subjects, as the Russians say, or the Japanese imperial military, organized a secret chemical production on the island. According to another hypothesis, bacteriological laboratories were located on Matua. This is evidenced by the external, external similarity of one of the buildings found with the laboratories of the infamous Japanese Detachment 731 in Harbin. In addition, the researchers found special water filters and antibiotics. This could serve as protection in case of infection of Japanese soldiers. The island of Matoa was ideal for experiments with deadly infections due to the underground volcanic heat. The fact is that the reproduction of plague bacillus requires a temperature of plus 30 degrees Celsius and vibra cholera plus 33 degrees, anthrax bacilli plus 35 degrees. Japanese aircraft stationed on Matua participated in defense of the base on Simushir Island from the Americans. From February 1944, the U.S. military began bombing the airfield on Matua. Naval clashes also took place in the area of the island. Japanese ships were based in the strait between Matua and the small island of Taparkov, or Ibaki in Japanese. At the end of the war, torpedoes fired by the American submarine SS-233 Herring sent the transports Hiburu Maru and Ibaki Maru to the bottom of the local bay. I will talk more about that American submarine. Now, in February 1945, the Japanese began to export people and equipment from the Coral Islands. 
The Japanese surrendered during the Red Army Offensive in August 1945. At the same time, apparently, secret facilities on Matua were mothballed. Most of the garrison was evacuated. Well, so that you know, two years later, the Sarichev volcano began to erupt, and it's considered to be the most active in the Kuril Islands chain. However, the secret facilities were still of great interest to the Americans in 1945. This is what made President Truman turn to Stalin. The reaction of the father of the peoples, as Joseph Stalin was referred to in the USSR, to the American initiative turned out to be harsh. Demands of this kind are usually made either to a defeated state or to such an allied state which itself is unable to defend this or that part of its territory and expresses readiness to provide its ally with an appropriate base in view of this. Stalin stated in a letter dated August 22, 1945, I don't think that the Soviet Union could be ranked among such states. There's also an um, account that Stalin put forward the forward account condition to transfer one of the Aleutian Islands to the USSR. Truman did not agree to this, and a few days later the Matoa fortress surrendered without a fight to the, Jap to the uh, Red Army units. The head of the Japanese garrison, Colonel Yoshinori Ueda, surrendered to the 41st Separate Infantry Regiment on August 27, 1945. 3,811 soldiers and officers of the construction battalion surrendered. The Japanese laid down their weapons in front of the Soviets. 2,127 uh, 2, rifles, 545 machine guns, and 98 grenade launchers. They didn't fight, and that's strange. By the way, the defeated carefully prepared for the reception of the winners. They even made wooden forks for the Soviet soldiers, although they did not use them them themselves. But Oh, Edda, I don't think that he wanted to talk about all the secrets of the island. It's obvious, and it was unusual the way the surrender went. By the way, later, the Soviet military noticed a strange glow on the slopes of the volcano, and in, in various places found bottles of expensive French cognac. Um, to get more details about the Nazi connection to this island and what else the Soviets found and Japanese spies most likely on that island. See my other videos because I don't want to repeat here. Um, what I want to say is that if there were still secret Japanese guerrillas or spies on the island, their fate is unknown. At least until the 1960s and 1970s, a Soviet military unit was stationed on Motua which was engaged in radar maintenance. Sometimes there were made emergencies. For example, once three soldiers went missing in Japanese underground facilities. Well, apparently the Russians did not understand the importance of the island, although Verishaga did its best to, to prove otherwise. Finally, Russian military border guards left the island in 2001, and the island became uninhabited again for 15 years. And on this mysterious island, the Pacific Fleet of Russia launched unprecedented research in 2017. And you can find out about the dramatic events in the period from 2017 to 2021 in my other videos. Let's look at 2022. On June 27, a complex expedition of the Underwater Research Center of the Russian Geographical Society and the Navy of the Russian Federation um, it was dispatched to the island of the Great Coral Ridge. Under the close attention of scientists, there was a study of the area of destruction of Japanese ships. The American submarine Herring and other objects of military technical history. Experts with the help of a manned underwater vehicle Sea Explorer 3.11 conducted um, by diving an additional survey of the waters of the island of Matua, which began in 2017. The researchers practiced their skills on a submarine sunk during World War II, located at a depth of 107 meters off the coast of the island. 
according to the Russian Geographical Society. Again, this is open source information, so they wanted this to be known. The expedition involved the rescue vessel Igor Belousov and the small hydrographic vessel Alexander Rogotsky. Scientists descended to extreme depths to look at the wrecks with their own eyes. Experts examined the American submarine Herring that sank during the uh, Great Patriotic War, as, this, as it was referred to World War II um, in the Soviet Union. The ship sank on June 1, 1944. It was sunk by artillery fire from the 52nd Division of the Japanese Army Coastal Artillery at Cape Tagansaki. Now this cape is called Cape Arlova. This submarine was large enough for its time. Its length is about 95 meters. At the same time, the years of being at the bottom practically did not affect its condition. Only the shell holes are clearly visible. Even the rudder, screws and deck house superstructure have been preserved. The researchers conducted a detailed photo and video recording of the object. In addition, the participants of the expedition held a memorial action to perpetuate the memory of the uh, Perry submariners. A brass plate with a full list of the crew and the ship was installed on the hull of the vessel, according to the Russian Geographical Society. So, we know now that the military and scientific exploration of the island continues. What the Russians have discovered in the underground facilities of the island, we do not know. Assuming they were able to get in, and I do not believe they have. But what has happened in the last few years is very telling. The Russians have placed a powerful new weapon systems on the island. The main caliber of the island garrison has now become the coastal anti-ship complex Bastion, the name of which surprisingly accurately fits into the context of the entire new history of Matua. Bastion is a very serious thing. Its marine ancestor, the P-800 complex, Yakhunt, became the same landmark achievement of the Soviet military industrial complex, as for example the S-300 air defense system. So unauthorized visits to the island are not expected. Now, on the both sides of Matua are the islands of Raikoke and Rashua. The island of Rashua. See my video about the sighted underwater ruins next to it. Who knows what ancient civilization created them? Well, maybe the Russians do today, and maybe the Americans have since the 1940s, because the Russians are not the only ones that are silent and the Japanese will not talk, of course. Matua Island is shrouded in mysteries and riddles, secrets and enigmas. And again, this is one of the most fascinating places on the face of this planet. And if I can, I'll bring you more news about it in the future and the Coral Islands. But for my research, I have to tell you, USOs and UFOs like that part of the world. So stay tuned. If you can support my research, please do so through the links in the description to this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos and tell others. Thank you.